day 226. So fasting, of course, you know, um, went to work, uh, went to the grocery store and then came home. Um, I've been making kind of two rounds grocery store wise. One is for my dog Zane, which is going to the regular grocery store. And then one is going to central market. So like going to HEB central market is just the more kind of upscale, um, has a lot more organic produce and that type of thing. Um, so I go that on my own and so I'll do that on Sunday, but I have no problem walking around the grocery store. Um, one of the things that did stick out to me, though, and it, it might be some advice I need to start taking sooner rather than later. Um, so while I was on the trip, one of the guys we hung out with, uh, he's a doctor, we discussed, you know, how to maintain your weight. And one of the things that he brought up, which makes a lot of sense is you got to eat repetitive foods the same thing every day um you can have treat every once in a while right you can go to switzerland every once in a while but your regular day should not be day to day should not be anything interesting and i i kind of have to agree i mean the when I'm planning, and don't get me wrong, I do plan what I'm going to eat. Um, I plan when I'm going to go out to eat. Um, and a lot of the food is very spicy or very tasty, different uh, than what I normally eat, which is nothing. Um, I want to consume it all, right? And so whether it's um, some extra ice cream or some extra, you know, finishing the, the food that I cooked, um, it all adds up, right? And so I, I'm not really taking the advice right now just because I am still losing weight. If I ever, you know, kind of plateau even during fasting weeks, um, I'll definitely reconsider or during eating weeks, sorry, <laughs> I'll definitely reconsider. But at this point, right, I want to be able to consume what I want. Now that being said, I can't consume everything I want. Um, so I am going to still have to work with that. But that being said, um, that is definitely advice for the future. Um, because I, I can see at least transition period, right, will be you know, maybe eat two or eat, you know, during the week and then fast two days or something like that. And during the rest of the week, right, I'm going to need to have meals. And so I'm going to want to do meal prepping and it's going to have to be pretty much the same thing in order for it to not stick out, right? Brussels sprouts and chicken or shrimp and asparagus or, um, you know, kind of, it, it doesn't really matter what it is, but, you know, like a protein, a vegetable, maybe some fruit, um, in the morning or something, but I, I'll, I'll have to figure that out as I go, but I do know, you know, regardless, the meals that I eat have changed. I, I don't consume, a great quantity of pasta anymore. If I do, it's the like edamame pasta or the, or pasta that I've handmade myself and spent, you know, an hour and a half working on it or, um, chickpea pasta, right? So I'm trying to get to the point where, um, I can consume some things, but just not everything. And that I leave stuff on the plate because I am not hungry. Um, and if that, that means having the same meal every day, then that's what I'll do.